Okay, we're back down the boatyard today. It's pretty windy, pretty cold out. Um, it's around, well I say pretty cold, it's seven or eight degrees. So I've decided it's warm enough now to be gluing and painting and things like that. So that's partly what we're gonna be doing today. We've got four skin fittings that need removing, uh, which is why I've got this massive spanner here. I think this is the right size, it's 27 mil. Um, it might not fit on a couple of them because nothing seems to really fit that well, as is often the case. So I'm gonna crack on removing four skin fittings. Uh, see how that goes. We've also got the scarf join in the stringer to fit back together because we've got the stringer in place We've got the bulkheads back in around it. I've got bolts through the stringer holding it to the hull Although I need to replace those. They're just temporary to hold it in place um, What I'm going to do is bang a wedge into that join open it up get some epoxy in there and then uh, Screw it in place. So Hannah's going to be helping me out with that. How are you feeling today? Good. Looking forward to this? Yes. I know you love a massive spanner. I so do love a massive spanner. Okay, so we need to glue the stringer join back together and we're gonna be using thickened epoxy. Uh, what we've got here is West System epoxy. It's pretty cold out today, it's about seven, eight degrees Celsius, so we're going for the, hot, uh, for the fast hardening epoxy um, because West System assure me that can go off in down to one degree Celsius. So that's what we're gonna be using today. Uh, we've got 401 Microlite uh, additive to thicken up the glue. Uh, these plungers, uh, they are quite expensive. These cost 16 quid for the pair, but they make the whole process a lot easier um, because it's one plunge for the resin, one plunge for the hardener. So we don't have to worry about measuring stuff out. What we've got here is a pot for mixing up the epoxy. We're gonna thicken that up. A uh, couple of stirring sticks, a couple of plastic squeegees. We'll use that to really pressurize the glue in the joint. Uh, and then just to be on the safe side, I've got some acetone here, um, just for sort of cleaning up if I spill any epoxy anywhere uh, where I don't want it to go. Because this stuff does go hard. In my opinion, uh, Certainly in the UK, West System epoxy is the best you can get. Uh, what you're looking at here is 80 quid's worth of glue and thickener and stuff like that. It is expensive, but it's gonna last forever. quite a productive day really. Um, four skin fittings we've removed. 
Sounds pretty straightforward, but in actual fact, they were an absolute nightmare to remove, um, especially the one underneath the sink in the forecastle. So uh, top points to Hannah for getting in that hole that I couldn't fit in, um, getting a pair of mole grips in there and getting a hold of that. I'm not sure that we'll be able to reuse some of the valves that we've taken off as they were seized up and they've had a bit of a munching with a pair of Stilsons trying to get them off, but the main thing is we've got them off, we can clean up the planking, we can get some new skin fittings, make sure they're bronze. Uh, we can bed them down and hopefully that'll be a, a good job done really. Uh, it's surprising actually how many skin fittings there are on Andromeda. Um, we've got two on the port side in the main cabin, three on the starboard side above the waterline, uh, one on the starboard side below the waterline and then in the forecastle there are two below the waterline for the toilet and one above the waterline for the sink. It's a lot of skin fittings uh, and that doesn't include things like the echo sounder and the, the log. So I'm going to be looking at how many of those we realistically need uh, and just trying to economise a little bit. I'd rather be on the more productive side bilge pump wise. So probably going to have two bilge pumps in the main cabin and one in the forecastle. So we'll just kind of have to see how that all works out and which ones need replacing. All in all a good day though. Also we've glued the stringer join back together, put eight screws in there, loads of thickened epoxy. Had a bit of a nightmare with the epoxy pumps getting them to prime up. Uh, they were just splattering out loads of air to start with. So, you know, don't take the risk of getting the ratio wrong. Just keep pumping it out until it's coming out right. This would be my advice. Uh, and then pour it back into the pot and then you know once you've got one decent pump out of the resin you get one decent pump out of the hardener um, I don't want to risk getting that ratio wrong some people believe that if you put in more hardener that it goes off quicker uh, that's not the case what happens if you put in more hardener is that you end up with an uneven mix and it goes off in some places before it does in other places and you know it, it doesn't work like that at all it's an exothermic glue so it does get hot when it starts to go off you can't mix it up too well, so we mixed it up really, really well, putting loads of thickener. Um, you know, it, it, you do have quite a bit of time for it to go off, so we just took our time, mixed it up really well, got it in there, uh, banged some screws in that stringer joint, uh, took the clamps off, and I'm really pleased with how that's looking. When it's gone off, I'll just sand it flush, and that joint is a 12 to 1 ratio scarf joint. It should be as strong, if not stronger, than the original piece of wood, so I'm really pleased with that.